Hi, greetings and welcome back to Roy's desk. As you know, we are very near to the end of the project. This is the Twitter section and this boards I have recently designed for the Ufa section. But before finalizing everything, I am a bit confused about the supply that I'm going to use and also about this Twitter section because we are already using 1875 LM1875 in here and since I'm already having this 4 LM3886 ICs I don't know I'm just confused should I use this LM3886 boards for here also for the Twitter section also because there will be a linearity in that case and I'm just very much confused about this and also about the power supply well, if you see this Torah transformer, I ordered this from Galaxy Transformers and the way they have winded it is they will have 113013 winding and 119019 winding because at first, if you go back to the first video, then you will know that I calculated for 15 watts plus 15 watts tweeter section, I need at least 13013 transformer and for the 30 plus 30 watt UFA section, I need at least 19019 supply. So that's why I ordered something like this, but then for that I need two different rectifier circuits. That is one I designed for the UFO section and another one I designed for the Twitter section. So I am having two rectifier circuits, but then if you think about it, it's just adding more complexity to the circuit and you are having much more ground loops to take care of and anything can go wrong in this. So now I'm thinking since these ones are also capable of getting power from the 19019 winding, so why not just use the 19019 to power both of the section, the Twitter section and the UFO section. That would eliminate one of the rectifier circuit. So it just be one rectifier circuit. I'll obviously stack another set of uh, capacitors in here. So in that case it will be three in one rail and three in another rail. So total of six capacitors of 10,000 microfarad. And another confusion is definitely about using LM3886 for the Twitter section also because there will be a linearity in that case all same boards powering the full tower having one Twitter and one woofer. So I need to see what I can do. Should I replace this with LM3886 boards or should I just keep it as it is? And one more thing is since I'll be powering this with 19019, now this will be output. If you, if you remember my previous videos where I tested the power output of this at different voltages, this should be giving out at least close to some 30 watts at 19019 supply. And then these tweeters, which are of 8 ohms, 15 watts are not capable for this use case. But not to worry, I already ordered the high power tweeters from this website and this website only keeps premium things. I have ordered before also from this website and they only have some quality stuffs. Let us unbox this and let's see what it is. So as you can see, it's 8 ohms, 40 watts. So now this ones are pretty capable for our use case. We'll also test the sound quality of this tweeters by powering this circuit on with only the high pass filters. So the packaging was very good of the main box. I don't have the recording for that. It was a big box with foam wrapping and then plastic wrapping over it. So if we open the box, it comes like this. So they have thermocol casing on it. And if I open it out, They have this plastic covering on it and if you remove this, this is the Twitter. As you can see, it's full premium quality Twitter. The magnet size is huge in the back. It's 8 ohms, 40 watts. They already have the foam tape also in the back and the connections and all. This is positive and this is negative. So let us connect everything with the Twitter section and let us power this on and see the quality of the sound with this. So the setup is ready for testing. I am powering this with 19019 supply. I am powering the preamps with 12012 regulated supply. And the audio source is from this Bluetooth module. So let's play some YouTube safe music. You'll be only hearing the high frequency sounds since this preamps are high pass filters.
so yeah the quality is really premium and the sound is also next level and this is not even hot with 19019 supply it's just warm and i'm still confused whether to use this or the lm3886 ic for the tweeter section also so that's a bit of a confusion and i also need to test this transformer is sufficient for 120 watts or not and for class ab amp the rule of thumb is you should use double the power outage of your amplifier so if it's 120 watts we are looking for something for 240 watts of transformer well this is above 240 watts but we have to see how hot this is getting at the full power of 120 watts so in the upcoming video we'll decide that if this transformer is capable or not and then we will go into the amplifier cabinet at first i thought i'll be making one boom box where i will have all these things the transformers the amplifiers the drivers everything but then i thought it doesn't make any sense since i might think of upgrading my drivers a much higher level or higher quality driver and the amplifier can be the same one so it's better to have a separate cabinet for the amplifier and two towers which will feature one tweeter and one woofer and in the upcoming videos later after i finish this project i'll be working on one discrete amplifier of 200 watts which will be only having the base section so it will be featuring one low pass filter and the 200 watt discrete class ab amplifier for powering the subwoofers so that's that's an upcoming project but for now i need to finish the amplifier cabinet once i decide which power supply to use and which ic to use in place of this so with that it's time to wrap up this video i hope you like this video i hope you like the test of the tweeters in this video if you have any questions please do drop that in the comment section and please do like share and subscribe to my channel please press the bell icon you will get notified whenever i upload a new video we will meet again till then bye bye